seated hip shifting or iliacus pullback. So there's a muscle called the iliacus. It sits on deep inside on this front of your hip bone. So it is actually part of um, what joins your hip flexor to form the psoas muscle, the iliopsoas, so it's that iliacus, and then we have the psoas major and minor muscles that come down and um, form together um, to form the iliopsoas tendons. So that iliacus muscle helps shift your femur, your thigh bone, back in the socket. So that's what we're working on here is this nice hip shift. So you want something between your knees. It could be a small ball, a kid's ball works great, a foam roller, um, if you have a small one. So basically what you're doing, you're gonna sit on the edge of the chair, feet flat. You're going to squeeze what's between your knees, feeling those inner thighs, those adductors fire up. And then you are going to shift one hip back. Think of shifting straight back in the socket, try not to let those hip flexors take over. So if you need to kind of pinch um, and squeeze your hip flexors here at the front of the hip to prevent them from taking over, you can try that to kind of get used to the movement. So what I don't want to see is I'll see sometimes this hip shifting up and people will just kind of hike their hip. We want that knee shifting straight back. So you can think of it as one knee shifts back, the other knee shifts forward, okay? And then you're going to try the other side. So you can maybe do what you could try if you're having symptoms. What I'll typically do if someone's coming in to see me um, is maybe we'll do five to 10 reps on one side and then we'll retest maybe a movement that was painful or didn't necessarily feel good. Um, and then we'll see if that improved it. And if one side maybe worsened the symptoms and the other side made the symptoms better, then we might just focus on doing um, one side, the side that makes the symptoms better. However, this is beneficial um, even if you don't have pain, simply to get that hip, the hips and pelvis shifting and opening and just allowing more space in um, the hip socket. So this is beneficial, um, especially during pregnancy and postpartum. Um, and so again, what you're gonna do, squeeze what's between your knees, shift one knee forward as the other shifts back, kind of feel a general opening, releasing in the back of the hip socket there, kind of that back of the hip pelvic floor, and then try both sides. Again, play around with this, see what feels good for you. If doing both helps, then work on both. If doing one helps to focus on just one side, if one side makes it worse, don't do that side. So if you have any questions, let me know, um, but play around with this and um, try both sides and see what you feel.